let's go from monday you wanted to do with cpr or camera law sir cpr sir sir let me remove camera law cpr and its resistances r1 r2 s1 s2 okay so if you see compared to friday's cpr monday cpr is wide agree ah yes sir if it is wide what is your expectation it will trend or it will be a sideways sir range bound only sir sideways range bound expectation and first candle itself if you see the candle has actually moved from here to here from 49800 to 50252 it has moved 400 points candle already moved okay hello okay sir yeah sir sir i am here so in this case already cpr is wide expectation is narrowed 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 no, sorry uh, expectation is sideways day and the first candle itself 400 points moved 450 points moved it is better to avoid bank nifty on that particular day completely if say for example now there will be one question you are saying like this but assume what if the price goes upside what will be your stop loss your stop loss will be this low assume you are taking a trade at this high your stop loss will be this one right so will you be taking a trade at this point 450 point stop loss will you give no avoid and if it is reversing also you are not sure how long it will go how much time it will take so in this case it is better to avoid the trade on monday okay now let us go for tuesday okay sir for a bank bank nifty i checked with the 5 minutes time frame only sir bank nifty okay 5 minutes time frame which day you took a trade sir on monday i took sir booked a good profit sir monday okay when i started at 5 uh, 225 sir 225 yes sir can roll after that i shorted sir because at the time at 20 and 50 both are broken sir okay with the previous high also broken okay so i took a short and uh, booked up to cps sir but uh, after reversal uh, I, i booked a profit sir okay. but in same scenario next day sir next day at 10 uh, 1035 mm-hmm. after that two uh, huge uh, green candles came i ended a long position sir okay but from there itself uh, fully it reversed and nearly what was your stop loss sir stop loss uh, i kept only 50 points sir now assume let let me tell you see i am not trading in bank nifty honestly okay i am not trading in bank nifty but assume if i wanted to take a trade that too in 5 minutes and i am repeating again nifty bank nifty any index intraday i am not checking in 5 minutes i am checking it only in 15 minutes but let me tell you what i would have done if i would have taken a trade in 5 minutes time frame okay so let me come to tuesday first of all the analysis is the cpr is a higher value cpr so my mind will be like the market can be bullish but how the candle is opening that actually matters so the first candle opened it is a red candle and it has closed below the cpr so i will be like any movement till cpr it can be a pull back that means selling opportunity can come in that is what i will be concentrating so i will be waiting for a reversal candle to form at the cpr clear so what i would have done is now if you see this is a wick reversal setup i would have taken a sell side trade over here sell side trade i would take and my stop loss is this high if it is exit that's it done close the trade okay and the next is here this is a outside reversal setup or a bearish engulfing pattern i would take a trade below this point and the high is a stop loss it would have given nice move this is how i would have taken a trade i would not have taken any other whatever trade i am doing i will doing in i will do in only one lot because even one lot if i am able to follow my strategy if i am able to follow the system which i am doing then i can increase a lot directly if i go to more lots then i will not be able to handle the trade and also this is tuesday okay from here 49858 80 point stop loss it has actually given 80 points here but in options the premium would not have covered 80 points it would have covered 40 points 
so there is theta dk which will be pitching in in options buying so i would not have pre preferred option buying when the candle is at cpr because when the candle is at cpr the expectation is that the time it will take to move or come out of cpr will be more the more of consolidation can happen at cpr so taking a trade or taking an option by trade inside cpr is not at all a good sign you have to write it down like you write it down first what is the cpr how is the cpr is higher value or lower value how the candle opened what is the candle opening is saying here the candle opening is saying the bullishness is rejected any pullback to cpr can be considered as a selling opportunity so i have to go only for sell side what if if it is flying high what if, if the candle is flying high in that case the candle would have closed above the cpr if the candle is closing above the cpr then that means the resistance zone is crossed that means i can go for a buy side if the resistance zone is not crossed it either it will struggle inside the cpr or it will again reverse back that is why i i will take a short trade here because it is rejecting at the center line and the bottom line so i might go for a short trade here here it is not preferred to go for a sell trade because your time will decay so option buying put option buying should not be preferred you can sell a call option but strict stop loss should be maintained only then you can do a trade okay sir okay or i will tell you one other scenario let me close the cpr okay if you see this is monday side this is current day side correct now <clears throat> if you see the candle is roaming coming here you are and it it came over here again it is coming to a resistance zone when it came towards the resistance zone this candle formed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 candles are struggling at the resistance zone you will not be able to decide whether it is going to move up or move down okay for that you you have to wait patiently and wait for some breakout to happen only after a breakout happens that will give a good move now say for example you are waiting for a longer time now this is the low which has been formed correct and this okay, is sir. the high which has been formed for that particular setup let me remove all the drawings let me go to this rectangle if you see this is the high and low which has formed for the 35 minutes 35 to 45 minutes it is roaming at the resistance zone at this resistance zone the candle is trying to roam it is not able to decide whether to go up or go down so what you have done is you have marked the high and low here okay so you are you are aware of the limit and you are aware of this limit as well now if any of this side break up, breaks out take the trade if it breaks out here you are taking a trade it is going down and now this one single candle will give you good good momentum this momentum will shoot the option price that's why i whenever if you do if you if you see my uh, analysis on expiry day i will say wait for tight consolidation that will give you good results now again see over here again consolidation okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 55 five minutes it is consolidating mark the high and low now any breakout or breakdown take that time itself then you will see some good move apply this concept in maybe one or two months you apply this concept and see what's happening you will be able to visualize what's uh, what's the uh, thing you can do any said even here if you see over here okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 17 seventeenth candle giving a break and it it was initially it was a resistance zone here it was not able to decide whether to go up or not facing some resistance 
after 17 5 minute candles at that means nearly 85 minutes nearly one and a half hours it was consolidating 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 finally gave a break and after that it went down nicely like this wait for that opportunity wait for how the opportunity is coming and then you can take a trade and then you can go